Winning is about accomplishing your goal. If you say you're going to accomplish it, if you accomplish it, you win. If you don't accomplish it, you lose. Mm -hmm. That's it. No philosophy, no science. If you say you're going to do something, you don't do it, you lost. Mm -hmm. You're a loser until you do the winning habit, yep. until you perform the winning behavior, and until you receive the winning outcome. Mm -hmm. Winners win, losers lose. It's very simple, bro. You do it or you don't do it. What do you think about purpose? I guess purpose is whatever you want it to be. You can have a deep intrinsic purpose and you can have a very shallow basic one. If your purpose is to have a great life and you don't care about money, then your life will portray that. If your purpose is to help a lot of people and you want to make money in order to do that, then your life will portray that. If you want to be a family man and that's your purpose, then your life will portray that. There isn't necessarily a right or a wrong when it comes to purpose. It all comes down to, is your life purpose driven? What is purpose? Goal. Mm -hmm. Goal orientation, right? Do you have somewhere that you're headed? Most people find themselves in a place of distress because they find themselves in a place of limbo. Mm -hmm. They don't know where they're going. If they just had something, even that's why people find so much confidence and so much, you know, mental stability in the gym, because it's something that they can look forward to, that they know it exists, that they can accomplish. But it's a great stepping stool. It's a great beginning point. But you have to have that purpose, that goal setting in order to be able to navigate life. Purpose is extremely important because it gives you aim. It gives you direction. What do you think about happiness? What do you think? Do you, and you said in the in the episode that what if we were not here to be happy? Can you expand on that? Yeah, life is a full range of emotions. You're not here to pursue happiness. It's not that experiencing happiness isn't something that you shouldn't want more than experiencing pain. Obviously, I'm going to want pleasure more than I want pain. It only makes sense. But life is a range of emotions. Yeah. To not want to experience something, one, is inevitable. But two, it's the fear of the pain that comes attached to that, that you don't want. Mm -hmm. When you understand that that's naturally a part of life, you embrace it and you navigate through it because that's what life has to offer you. And the fact that you're alive and you get to experience it is the gift, whether it at the time seems enjoyable or not. Do you think people are wrong for chasing happiness? I mean, it's a fleeting thing. You can chase it. You chase, you chase things that you can't catch. <laughs> You don't catch, you don't chase things that belong to you, yeah. right? So people chase happiness because they think that that's what they need. When in reality, happiness is just a byproduct of becoming the best version of yourself. So instead of chasing the emotion, become the type of person that is experiencing that emotion. And mm -hmm. you can be in that state more consistently.